Yep. He's all painted up, he's all stickered up, and I think it looks fantastic. Hello, how are we today? Welcome to our next installment of the Comical Grasshopper build. Which is this beast da, right da, da, da. here. How good does it look? It's looking pretty awesome, isn't it? Now, there's been a couple of editions since the last time that we had the episode on. Yep. So, BJ took the driver figure away. I did. And we might have seen it on social media, but the driver figure is now finished. Yeah. So, we've got to mount the driver figure. Yep. Um, with the with the wood grain steering wheel, I see. Oh yeah. Well. And we're going to stick the body up, uh, cut the posts, and pretty much get it get it ready to race. So that's the body as I left it last time. So last time we airbrushed it all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, brushed uh, it all up in the yeah. studio. That's it. And so that's what we end up with. Such a neat, tidy job. So we're very different. It's going to look. Hopefully, it's going to look really different to all the other cars on the track when we take it out to the vintage bash. It's definitely going to be unique. But since we've done that, you'll be able to see here. I've done the driver and I've shown the driver in social media since, but I've also done a wood grain steering wheel, which I think Tony Pereira would appreciate because he's been asking me to do a tutorial for ages on how to do wood grain. Yep. And I did this at home, so he can't see what I did. So he's not gonna appreciate <laughs> that at all though. Can we zoom in on that? Uh, we can give that a go. Is that something that you wanna do? It's a look. Boom. Okay, is that focus? Oh, there he there is. There we go. All look right. at that. So that's the wheel. Yeah. And this is the driver figure. That's it. Okay, so very quickly, I just painted the wheel in a sort of a, a base brown, and then I got a, a dark yellow mix, which is like a coffee colored mix. Uh, roughly painted that around with a really coarse brush, so it's got those sort of uh, wood grain effect. And then it's been overcoated with a diluted clear orange to give it that um, a stained wood look. And that's how you got that really high gloss. And then I just painted black and then uh, highlighted silver over the, uh, the hub. That is such an awesome piece. And here on the driver figure, i got to say, mate, that is like the biggest pink helmet I've ever seen. It's pretty big, isn't it? It's pretty decent. All right, so what we're going to do, we're, we're going to finish off the build, right? Yep, let's so get to it. finishing off the build is going can, to be... You can stick him on, and I'm going to get stuck in to cutting out some scissors for you ready to stick on. Cut out some scissors? Cut out some scissors. Cut out some stickers ah. with my scissors. Right. Let, okay, let's so go. in the meantime, I'm just going to clip this wheel onto the driver's hands here. A bit loose but it's gonna be okay for the moment now there's a little panel on the bottom of the driver here so I'm just gonna wipe that down with some uh, IPA or isopropyl alcohol just to clean off all the oils also on the mount here so that when we apply the double-sided tape it's not going to peel off immediately because there is uh, they are quite slippery or oily when they come out of the factory it's got one little well, it's probably here. got a bit of mold release agent on there too hasn't it well that's right yeah because they're popping out quite a lot of these right and I can see why. How fun has it been? Oh, it's been fantastic. All right, so I've got a bit of towel here. Just a regular towel. Probably don't want to use facial tissues because they're going to have a lot of lint. All right, so I'm just wiping this down. This is going to evaporate pretty quick. Take off all the oils. Same thing on the bottom of the driver. Yep. Okay, and then we'll close that up. Oh, you can smell the alcohol. Right, so I've got the double-sided tape. This is a thin type one that uh, to me is light. And we'll just quickly measure that up here. All right, so you just need a little square of it. Uh, grab Meanwhile, those, grab I, those scissors and grab yeah, these. absolutely. Thank you. Got some bitty design cursed scissors there. Yep. Even though I'm cutting straight. Meanwhile, I am getting in, stuck into the block head sticker sheet. Yep. So we've got all our stuff ready for doing the stickers. Uh, if you're not sure on how to do these sort of stickers, we do have tutorials. I've got some uh, soapy water, which I've just got in this little container, mm -hmm. and I've got my heat gun as well. Okay, so the heat gun there to help all the stickers. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Conform. 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 Make them to, pliable. That's it. All and right, bake so. them into submission just how you like it. Well, you don't have to have a heat gun for doing that, but it does help, doesn't it? Well, otherwise you get air pockets and you get creases in them. Yep. With a bit of heat gun, you can really stretch them over yep. and around edges and corners. And okay, so and I've got the double sided tape there. So this wheel's just about to pop off. Let's see if we can hold that in place. Maybe it's a quick release steering wheel. Oh, it could be. That's a, that's a thing these days, isn't it? Yeah, all fast race cars. Yeah. We can secure that later with a bit of um, boxy or something. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Or shoe goo, that sort of stuff. Okay, so I've already pre checked where I'm going to be sticking this. So I sort of know where it's going. I just want to make sure it's in the centre here. It's a bit hard to see sometimes when the wires are around. 
So I think it's about there. So I press him down. How's it looking, mate? So I'm not really I'm trying to concentrate the best I can on cutting out these scissors. It's not the most. I think it's pretty good. Camera friendly thing to do, is it? So looking from this angle, you can see how the double sided tape has held this part in place. That's a flexible material there that's holding it. So it's going to bounce around a bit when we're driving in, which is pretty cool. That's going to add to the effect of it, isn't it? It is. So the steering wheel's still there, but I'm sure if we take it over a few jumps, it's going to fall off. So yeah, shoe goo or something in there is going to hold that into place. And then the wires are sort of going around, and we might revisit the wires later and make it a little bit more. Well, the beauty neat. about these motors are they just they're on bullets, so they can yeah. plug in and plug out. That's right. Okay, so there we go. Drivers all done. It's mounted in. So let's concentrate on the body now. Let's move him aside. We'll stick this over here. All right. So we've got the body. Okay. So I've already put on some of the more complicated uh, decals. Decided to put those on because this, otherwise this episode would take a long time. So I've got the black, which is for the roll cage, and it really gives it a lot of definition. We've got the vents here as well, and then across the front here. It actually looks really good. They're actually a really good fitting sticker. You've oh, yeah. taken a lot more care and time than I am taking now to cut out the stickers. Well, the good thing about Tamir is uh, their engineering is unbelievable. When it comes to these, they've thought about exactly how it's going to fit along the edges, and also they give you a little bit of overlap across two stickers because this particular rollover hoop is actually two bits and you've got a centerpiece there. So when you put them on, they all match and you don't have any gaps. We've got the ones on the sides too, they're already on. Now we're just going to do some blockhead ones, yeah? We've got some blockhead, I've got some grasshopper. Alright, so we've got some of the green ones. The idea of the green is, it's got green wheels and this is going to carry over with the green from the uh, being a grasshopper as well. So that's why we painted the driver figure in a green suit. So I'm gonna put this across here. And I'll show you, I've got this little container here which I've mixed, there's only one drop of um, dishwashing detergent in there. The rest you, do, of it, you don't like it very soapy, do you? No, it doesn't I, have to be really soapy. I generally it over soap. It doesn't need that, that much. Okay, I only need a tiny bit to, to break down the uh, surface tension. Okay, so I've got the water there. Yep. I'm going to pull off one edge of a sticker like this. And then I use these scissors here and I'll chop off the end like this. And okay, that so really helps you position it, doesn't it? For sure. So you, you have one techie bit there and then the rest of it is going to slide around. And this allows me to pop it on here. So you see that part with the backing on it, it's still moving around. Actually, the front bit's already tacked on. But you see how easy it was to pull off? Mm -hmm. It's simply because of the water that I put there already. See if I can get this aligned. Oh, Are you traveling yeah. there, mate? I think I'm okay, but I'm just moving around a bit. What do you reckon? Perfect. We're happy with that? All right, so if I just press that down, we can work out if that's sort of straight along the bottom edge. Press it down here, and then pull this up. Leave a little bit on the end. Okay, so if I leave a little bit on the end, I actually tension it, pull it straight, and then we tack it down here and then I can pull off the end of like this. Look at that, you've right. done that before. And then we're just squeegee it down and the liquid underneath is going to help eliminate all the air bubbles that are there. Yeah. And because that's flat we don't really have to Heat use a, a hairdryer but I mean it will help activate the of course it will do. The, the bonding adhesive. agent. Yeah. yeah. Okay so I'll leave that there for the moment we'll do the other side and then I'll put the, uh, the hairdryer on. I've got a few more on, I think. All right, so there we go. So what I've do you got, got there? I've got some more ideas. Hang on. Oh, ideas, man. Okay, so let's just cut this off again. So you see that? How oh, it's got the end. Let's just find where we want to put this. Maybe across here. Now, if we want to totally match the other side, we can just check even from the top to see how it lines up. Probably need to go back a bit. Go to about here. How's that? How's the spacing look? Oh, probably a bit high. How's right, it so looking, mate? Pretty good. So it's really easy to reposition. Now, what's special about these stickers? They're blockhead. They're blockhead. And that is really unique to 
well, to, to Blockhead. Blockhead is its own brand. That's right. They've got a close affiliation with a lot of Tamir stuff. The designer yes. there, Jun Wanatabe, is the head artist. Is that right? That's correct. And yes. he, he loves working with Tamir and has done he special does. Tamir releases. Yeah, he loves all the vintage stuff. And we've we've actually, here at Hearns Hobbies, we're an, an authorised agent of Blockhead Motors. That's right. So they're sticker sheets and merchandise and apparel. That's correct. Uh, and generally it's, yeah, it's really cool. It's got a real retro vintage feel about it. It has. So that's why we're using some Blockhead sticker sheets on this. Yep, so it's looking pretty good. All right, so we've got that. We've got the green touch there already. Now, sometimes you think green and blue is probably not a great match, but I mean, these are fluoro green and they, they're standing out a lot. And with the pink helmet too, I really find it breaks up the the, the green a lot. Yes, so they're, they're full contrast, aren't they? Yeah. So it's a bit out there. So what are we doing this? This is going here, is it? Yeah, do you like that one there? Is it too big? Mine I, I quite like mark. it. I quite like it. Yeah? This means we're going to have the hole. Or do you want to lose a turtle? It's not going to take the whole turtle off. No? We're just going to have to put a body mount hole through the turtle, but you still see him. I yeah. think that's cool though. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? I've okay, got our, let's put him there. I've got our Rima somewhere. Right, so I'm, I'm not doing my... a very good uh, supporting act here, am oh, I? It's over here. That's a handy little tool to put holes. Alright, it's all good now. Water there. It's a standard trim. I'm loving this new apron, by the way. You like the apron? I've never felt it's more very, protected. It's a very you. Is it? It's very you. Got my hobby right, so knife in see. there. I had my scissors. Look, I got let's a paintbrush. Let's see if we can get that I'm ready to go. Well, we're happy with it. Actually, I've always said that about you. The turtle's pretty, pretty safe there. They're very I well probably centered. need to move this a little bit more this side. Well, now that you've got your detergent water there you can move it as much as you feel because it's always, it's always hard to balance things like this when they've got shadows on them but I guess you know you put it sit it there and you think oh yeah what do I reckon I think it needs to be a bit further I think I think it looks all right I think it's pretty good I'm going with the turtle and the bottle of the, the bottom of the M and I'm thinking that looks pretty good looks mate. okay all right it's pretty good all right so let's press this down once it's pressed down, the rest of the sticker can't move. Yeah. That is the beauty in it. Alright, so I'm just going to tension across the top here. Now this is going to need a little bit of heat because it's going over some complex curves. And look at that, we don't lose a lot of the, the decal on this side, and we no. lose a little bit there where we cut the hole out again. But that's okay, that looks factory fast. It does. Factory is fast as well. June Winatabi would be so proud of this right now. I think so. Alright, so that's it there. All right, so we're happy with that. All right, let's put on some more stickers and I'll hit this with a hairdryer at the end, I reckon. Yeah, what else we're we going to do? Do it all at once. All right, so we've got the grasshopper. We've got some of the original decal as well. Yeah, I think that's really iconic. Well, that's a really nice contrast there, isn't it? The red. And the red and green is usually the, the ultra contrasting colors. Exactly. Just this. Right, the trim trim. Trim trim. Trim trim. All right, where are we going to put this? Put this across here. But to me, a smiley stars. Do you like those or not particularly? Oh, they're pretty funky, aren't they? They add to the fun of it. Let's see. Shift that around a bit. What do you reckon? Is that close enough? I think that's pretty good, mate. I think. Oh, I'll put these a little bit more on the side. Got my bitty design curve stickers here, which are. Curve stickers. Curve stickers. You get your Curve. scissors and your stickers mixed up, I don't know. you? Well, that's because I'm, I'm too excited. looking at one, doing another. My curve. Well, I'm cutting curved stickers. So, well, stickers with a curve in them. There we go. Look at this. I have a feeling that's a little bit off, but. I think the whole car's going to be a little bit off. A little bit off? Once okay. Done a couple that's of laps. Enough. All right, so we're going to go with a grasshopper as well. It's going to stand on this. And the thing yeah. about quality stickers in the Tamiya kits, um, as opposed to some some cheaper kits, or that's where they really cop out on, isn't it? Some of the manufacturers. Well, that's These right. These are really good quality vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're nice to handle and they present very well. Let's see. How's the image look? Like this? Yeah, just in the middle. Not last thing you want is a grasshopper on the windscreen, mate. It'd be splattered, yeah, wouldn't it? If you've ever driven through a, a locust plague or something like that, it's not great fun. Let's put in the wrong spot here, hang on. 
Let's get this and move him. Move him a little bit lower. There we go. How's that? Oh, that's good. Does it look right? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, I think it's too far on this side. Well, that is the beauty about putting the water down. Um, because you're not actually stretching the sticker either. If no, that's right. If you put the right. water down and you, you're trying to reattach it, yep. you can actually stretch the vinyl and mis misshape the sticker. Yep. How's that? That's more centered, yeah? Pretty. Looks pretty grasshopperish to me. Yeah, that's all right. All right, let's press them down. Do you want the Tamir stars, the square stars? These are very retro cool, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Where are we going to put those? Well, I don't know. We could use these like a car emblem, I thought. I don't know. Maybe not. Doesn't matter, I've cut them. How about, when are we got going to some, put... Uh, got some yellow oh, ones Oh, we here. need some of them. How about some Hearns Racing ones on the side panel here? Absolutely. What do you reckon? So we've got these ones here, they're quite long. Or these little ones here, quite... That's our that's our team driver sticker sheet there. Well, maybe the Hearns Racing could go on the side here, rather than there. And we can put something else over here. Yeah. Yeah? I think we've had enough blockhead up there, though. All right. Got these ones. We've got these. Now these are pre-cut, right? So yeah, these are. Just carefully peel those off. J spec oh. stickers. I almost lost it. So you do the same sort of thing with the with the water. Let's see, where do we want this? Just cross here. How's that look? It's not quite straight. I use some of this. Um, to lift under it, yep. say picking it up or trying to use a hobby knife and scratching it or cutting That's it. That's right. The only reason we made this it. is because we've made all these mistakes in the past. There we go. Alright, so we've got that Hearns Racing on that side. I'm trying to match it up here. A little bit tricky because it's a slightly different shape. Yeah, when you're putting on... So basically we just want to line it up, up to here. Means just hold it here. We'll just pay attention at the point on this point. We've even got flames and stickers that we can put on old mate's head. Flames? Yeah. I'm gonna put flames on his head. Big flame and pink helmet. Oh. What else have we got there? I don't know that you want to use any of them. I think we've blockheaded out. All the driving lights. Oh yeah. We've got some caution stickers, that's very Tamir isn't it? I don't even know where these go. These are actually well, they'll, pretty they'll go where the, uh, where the resistor goes. I'm not resisting. This one, no, hasn't, been do, do this one hasn't been fitted with resistors, it's got two speeds mate. Two speeds? Yep. Fast stop, and really fast? Stop and go. Oh. No, it's got the electronic that? speed controller of course. That's coming together. Alright, so what do we need now? So you cut me out some of these. I'll cut right, you out some, some of these. Have we got a turtle to go on the front? Yeah. Do you I think we need a turtle on what the front? What colour turtle would you like? How about we go for something different? We already got green and red here. What does it got? How about a yellow we got, one? We got pink and yellow. Probably a yellow, huh? Go yellow? Do you want a big, a big yellow one? Oh, big and a zoogie one. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so Tamiya. Where are we going to put the Tamiya? Tamiya? Yeah, to me across Sometimes here. stickers, you've got to know when to stop. You know, When's but, that? But the beautiful thing is, is that you can always redo them. Well, that's right, isn't it? You know, there's no right way or wrong way. It's stopping you from redoing them. Alright, so let's put this here and I'll, I'll line it up with that bottom line. Let's put it out of here, eh? That looks good. Same thing on the other side. I want to cut them out. I like to go close, but not too close to leave really small, like sharp, acute edges. Keep them rounded. Rounded they, edges you like? I find they tend not to lift as much. Well, that's true. Yeah. There's less um, chances of it uh, snagging on anything. Yeah. Because you're often giving it a wipe over or. Alright, so we've got that. Oh, we've got to do Turtle Boy. Alright, so let's get Turtle Boy, what, right here? Yeah, why not? Right there. Smack bang in the middle, eh? 
Look at that, some hot race. Hot race? Hot race tyres. The latest addition to the, the Hearns family. What have we got there? Turtle boy. Right here. Like this. It's a good looking turtle. I'm just reaching across you here, mate. Sorry. I've noticed the driving I reckons. I reckon that looks pretty good. I reckon you've done stickers before. Uh, occasionally. No, oh gonna... no, he moved. Did he? Well, that's he okay. Moved. You got water. The worst no, things he... when they like fall off and fall on the floor and stuff. Oh, you don't want to fall on the floor. No, well, it's happened. No, you, you hold it back again. or... So, 2 by 12 mil screws. Little oh, ones. It's back on now. I just right. need to get my little 9 steps. 3 mil screwdriver. What's it got there? Of course escapes me for the moment. Alright, so I've got a couple of grasshoppers here. Where are these grasshoppers going to go? How yeah, about if they go here? Yeah. Is that a bit busy? How about if they go there? Oh, maybe too many grasshoppers on the side. You don't have to use them at all. Less is more. Less is more, eh? And more is good. That's a bit, a bit zen of you. Is it? What do you reckon? Do we need anything on the roof? Uh, it's probably just going to be scratched off. Right? I'm not Nothing one on for, the roof. Not one for stickers on the roof. No. Not that my it's cars actually get all smashed and cra crashed and smashed up, but hey, yeah, I don't put no, stickers on the roof good. for a reason. <laughs> no, you're right about that. I think that's probably enough, eh? I think it's looking really good, BJ. Now what I'm doing here is assembling these driving lights. Yep. Which are actually really cool. Well, they, come with a, they come with a clear lens. Oh, because you yeah. can put LEDs in them. You can put LEDs in them, that's right. Yep. Okay. Um, and we're not going to at this stage, but there might be something that you do later in the Well, game. I'm going to use a heat gun. Well, I'll stop talking then. Because this is going to be pretty loud anyway, so is even it? if you say something, we'll probably it's won't hear you. It's not a heat gun, it's your, ha it's your hair dryer. Hey, My hair dryer? We all know it's your favourite hair dryer. Well, that's probably why I have no hair left anymore, because I've burnt it all off with this thing. <laughs> Alright, so i just gently heat over. So this is activating the glue. And we'll gently press it down. Areas. How's it looking, mate? It's getting there. We'll trim up these lights a little bit more. Is it just me who's melted stickers before? You've melted stickers before? Yeah. What, how badly? Well, I was actually putting stickers onto the little VRX bullet that we've got here. The what? And I was um, heating the stickers up, getting them to go around corners, and I actually melted the body. Oh, I melted the body? Yeah. No, that's no good. Because the body's not actually made from lexin, I believe. It's made from like a recycled coke block, oh. which makes it extremely resilient, but not to heat. Yeah. Hopefully it didn't change too much. No. Nah. How's it looking? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Well, most of these stickers are on pretty flat surfaces, so they're going to be easier to, to make sure that they're pretty permanent. That's pretty good. And then a heck of a time I've got the nose lights trimmed up. You wouldn't think these uh, little lenses. Here we go. Here we go. How is it? Oh, wow. That looks racy. Still pretty simple. And again, like you said before, we can always put extras on if we want. Well, there's going to be event stickers actually at the Vintage Bash. Yeah, okay. So, yep. there's going to be a sticker sheet with every entry. Alright, so we've got the little holes here that I need to open up because we've got the sticker over it. So, we're just going to use your little reamer here. We've got our nine steps body reamer. Alright, so I'm just going to poke it through the top here. Now, poking it through the top where the decal is, is the easiest way of doing this.
the holes in that body are pretty tight anyway, so don't be scared to uh, open, open them up a bit. ever so slightly. Here's your driving lights, mate. Well, that's all done. Now we haven't put haven't put the lens stickers on there because I've got a sneaky suspicion you might um, get a hold of it and actually paint them up one day. Oh yeah, that could be the case. But they are assembled. Yeah. Two little screws in each one. I might get a knife because the arena has. Probably knife right here, mate. Oh, yo. Yep. Next to my paintbrush. Seat. Here we go. Thank you. Right. In case, this, need, this in case I help. need to paint something, there's my. This will help trim it up cleaner. Because sometimes the reamers can be a little bit roughed on this. But at least it's opened up the hole a little bit for the body. That was a sharp knife. We're trimming off these stickers very nicely. Let's just press that in there. How's it looking? It's looking good. Now we're going to put the driving lights on. And right, so I nice think and clean. the last thing that we'll probably have to do is um, cut down the body posts. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll put the body on. Do you want to put these on first? What's that? Oh, we need to put those on first, yes. Put these on? Yes. The driving lights. Good idea. So, so what do you got? I've got one driving light and I've got one screw. Careful not to gouge. Slip and gouge the paint off. So they're pretty cool that they actually screw onto the body, so they should be quite accident proof, yep. I think. Well, they look soft. ABS, I think. They're going to be flexible. And they're mounted with uh, O-rings as well, O-rings to secure them, so they shouldn't crack. See how that's nice. Nice and round. I'll probably put some chrome inside too, just to reflect some more light. They actually don't do up too tight with the O-ring, because the O-ring squashes and deflects. Oh, well there you go. So... Mostly help it move about. Yeah, well I suppose it's better to have some give, isn't it? Yeah. Here you go. It's looking much more like a, a racing buggy now, isn't it? Excuse me while I get in there. For sure with those lights. What were they? KC's weren't they? KC Brights. Was that or KC Daylights? Yeah. Yeah, what they had in there. The smiley face. Yeah, the K, the C with each light, uh, each eye. There you go, mate. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Look at that! Clear lenses, ready for lights. Yep. Alright, so where we go from here? So we're going to get our chassis back. Now, I've got about, aside for you some, some fancy pants Arrow Max body clips. Fancy pants. Not that the mere ones aren't good, but why make it good when we can make it better? Look at that. It's cool, eh? Alright, so we've got our purple clips. And so I it's good it... to put the clips in first, yeah? So that yeah, you know put... where you're going to yeah. cut down to on the, the body mounts. You don't want to cut too much off. No. And usually you want to cut a hole above just to protect the, the clip itself. It's going to look a lot more streamlined too once they get cut down. Now we've got two kinds of nippers out, let you do the honours. What do you mean? Well, I've got the red ones I think you probably want to use. Red ones? So these are the essential ones. Alright, so what do you reckon? Do you want to leave one we use and then we'll cut the second one? Or do you want to cut all the way nice and tight? Uh, I'd probably cut, yeah, I'd cut under the, under the second one. This one? Yeah. Alright, so it's going to go flying. Do this one. Beautiful, because yeah. that gives you some room to round them up. Yes. So you take, take the body off and then get some, your sanding stick or whatever. Yep. There we go. And can also have aid in putting the body on as well when they're nice and rounded up. Yep. Well, Look at go. that. He's all mounted up. That Driver's is... in place. He's got his steering wheel to go fast. He's got his steering wheel. Yep. He's all painted up. He's all stickered up. And I think it looks fantastic. So you see how we had the original green wheels and we've got the green stickers that complement that. So they don't look out of place now because you've got that Mary up. And we've used Hearns Racing, Blockhead Motors and yep. Optimia stickers. Yep. That's and what cool. a great effect. And we've left the roof with no stickers on it because there's a good chance it'll be going upside down. <laughs> and they'll be all getting scratched. That's so right. that's, that's a very hardy. For sure. That is fantastic. That's cool. Well, well, that's I it. That that brings the build of the Tamiya Comical Grasshopper to a to a finish to a head. Yep. What's um, it mean now? Next thing is getting it out on track, yeah. getting it yeah, tested. Yeah, it's out on so the track. it's 
going to be fitted with a lipo battery yep. and yeah it's going to take to the track and fit it so stay tuned for that um uh, yeah do, good. do yourself a favor build yourself one of these and have some fun the yep. tamir comical range that's it i'm brett and this is bj we'll see you next time thanks for watching thank you see you